Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today we're taking a look at the Spinnaker Hall. Uh, this is my first time with a Spinnaker watch in hand. I've seen some mixed uh, reviews on um, you know on the forums and stuff about them but I don't want that to necessarily affect my opinion. Uh, so just reading this label here, it says the leather strap has been treated to be water resistant. Um, I don't think I'd wear that in the water, but you know, if you get rain on or whatever, rained on or washing your hands, it's wet. So anyway, this is the SP5073-01. I didn't see this on their website anymore. Uh, the most similar one is uh, with the first, uh, it's sp 5073 one one it has a metal bracelet so uh, this one here is on leather obviously it's a nice looking watch it has i guess i'd call it like a panerai shaped case uh cushion case so let's get it off the cushion here so obviously it has stainless steel a stainless steel case the case size the so-called diameter is 42 millimeter and then lug to lug is 47 millimeter and the thickness on this is 12 and then the lug width is 22 that's based off of what's on the Spinnaker website I think this was bigger though I could be mistaken nope yeah that's about right 47 42 so yeah everything's uh, maybe not well I'm not sure why the thing has thickness was at 12 when uh, clearly it's a lot larger than that 15.5 is what I'm getting with the calipers here not sure how they got 12 out of that hmm. anyway well let's measure the crown since we're here Crown is 6.3, which is a pretty decent size. Uh, so, I think I showed you here, the, uh, it has a dis display case back. You can kind of see the movement in there. They have that decorated rotor. I'd like to get a better view of that, but uh, they, they painted the display case back. I, I don't understand why you would have a display case back and then Put, uh, put put a coating on it. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose. But Anyway, let's, uh, let's read the back here. There's a model number again. SP-5073. Automatic movement. All stainless steel. Water resistant 100 meter. Um, oh, so it does have the Seiko NH35 as you would expect. Most of these Micro brand watches use that movement. Uh, Spinnaker may not necessarily be a micro brand. I guess it's a small, large brand. Uh, it has this sunburst dial. And then this crystal is AR coded. And from what I could find, it's a mineral crystal with AR coding. I have not uh, seen that, that before, really, a mineral glass with uh, AR coding. But the combination of the dial and this AR coating, it kind of looks uh, like a hologram. It has like a hologram effect to the dial and numbers on here. So it's, it's kind of neat. Maybe a little distracting to read, but uh, it's, it's pretty neat to look at. It does have a uh, date window here. I didn't, uh, I didn't really set the time on this, obviously. Uh, oh, so it does have a screw down crown, which um, I found kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So let's uh, move the hands here. That's the deep position. So there we go. Looks like the spinnaker is applied, the spinnaker logo there, and then the indices and the numbers are also applied. The date window is boxed in. So they did a decent amount of uh, 
you know, work to this. It's not, it's not all that stuff not printed on there. This down here is printed, but the watch looks pretty nice, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. So that's surprising. Now the whole case is polished. The bezel looks like it's brushed. Oops. So that's everything I wanted to cover on, on my notes here with the specs. Uh, let me get it on wrist. I've, I've been wearing it a little bit, but uh, I didn't set the time when I put it on wrist. If you're curious, I am wearing the uh, Borealis. I called it the Ellipso, but it's probably Olispio. It's a city in uh, Portugal. O-L-I-S-I-P-O. -I but we'll talk about this one tomorrow. Yeah, just admiring this dial and uh, the AR coding. It's kind of a neat effect. Playing with the light here in the studio. Maybe we'll shine a flashlight on it, see if that does anything different. Yeah, so anyway, let's get it on wrist here. Now I have a six and a half inch wrist with a 52 millimeter wristband. And again, the lug to lug on this is somewhere between 47 and 48. So there's still two more um, slots there. So if your wrist is a little smaller than mine, it would work in uh, at least an inch and a half larger maybe. I didn't mention, but this is a random Rob tour watch. So I'll be sending this off uh, shortly here. Now, one of the previous members that uh, toured this watch, I think w one of these, I think it was this thread here came off and then uh, someone else fixed it. Uh, I think Casper fixed that. So there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. It doesn't look too bad. I think it just looks a little larger because because it's all dial. It doesn't have a bezel, you know, like a uh, like your typical dive watch. So this is 42. It's actually the same size as this. This is 42 as well. Uh, I'll put these back to back in a moment. Just uh, zoom out. So it's not not too bad. I think it would look okay on a smaller wrist like mine. So I'll put it back to back with the SKX here. I think the lugs should be pretty close to the same size. So there you go. I guess the spinnaker is a little larger lug to lug, but the case diameter should be the same. Alright, let me pause the video and we'll close that with a loom shot. If you could uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell, I'd greatly appreciate it. Be right back. Well, I don't normally show the UV light on here, but the text there looks pretty neat. It's glowing with the UV light, so... On the left there is the SKX, uh, I forgot what the model number is on it, but anyway, it's the Seiko SKX. In the middle we have the Spinnaker Hall, and then on the very right we have a Casio Duro. So the loom on the Spinnaker is actually pretty decent. It's better than the Casio Duro. Um, it's not quite as good as the Seiko, but... If the indices and hands were a little thicker, I think it would be uh, pretty comparable. So, as always, thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.